Hello everyone, how are we doing today? So today is the palette busting video that I promised in the workshop tour. So, remember, I had 20 palettes stacked up back here, they're stacked up up to there. So many palettes. Well, I'm on my last one. And let's just say I learned a little bit throughout 19 of these palettes. I saved one to make a video for you to show a little bit of what I've learned in the process. Now, going through 20 palettes, I did buy a tool to cheat, and I'd highly recommend it if you know you're going to be doing a couple palettes. Um, it's right here. Uh, it's a palette busting tool. I got it off Amazon. I can put a link in the description. I don't care about an affiliate thing or anything like that, but it worked pretty great. It has this end here, so you can do a little lever action and get it, get it out. Um, so that's the number one thing. I am using a palette busting tool, which some might say is cheating. Uh, there's also the, you know, if you want to use the crowbar, you can do that. We will be using this crowbar, still a very important tool in palette busting. Of course, you will need a hammer. And then also I have a little uh, pry bar here as well. Uh, now, the most important thing in palette busting is how you're going to use the board. So you could just chop the palette. So here is, you know, one of the boards I've had. You could just chop the palette. So right here is where the slants were. You could just chop it there and then get rid of all the nails. And then you lose those center beams though. And some people might want those center beams. But the thing is, even though you take the nail out of this, there might still be a little bit of nail attached. So while doing these 19 pallets, I've come across three different nail types. I'll throw a figure in right here to show it to you. I took a picture of one earlier. One nail type is the problem one. It has these little barbs on it, and that's why I'm showing you this. Thankfully, a side hobby of mine, if you've seen my other videos on the channel, is metal detecting. So I have a pin pointer, and what this pin pointer does is it detects metal. And there shouldn't be any in this one, because I've already cleaned it, but it would beep if there was any nail fragment found in there. So if I put, touch it to my watch, it beeps. So I'll show you an example uh, throughout the video of how I use this when cleaning up the pallets. So, um, another thing I've been doing is another thing I've been doing is using this drill, and it's actually been a lot easier. I just drill it right out, and you, I figure a you know 50 cent drill bit is a lot cheaper than ruining my planer blade or saw blade or something like that. I don't care about this drill bit here, so it is what it is. Um, that's up to you how detailed you want to get and what you're doing the boards. If you're just doing a rustic look and you're not going to plane it down too much, you might not have to worry about those little nails in it. The other nail tip I've come across is like this very big screw nail, very long. Those ones are hard to get out. And I've broken a lot of nails off and then I've had to use a pair of pliers to try to pull the nail out of the slat. Those ones are big problems. Um, but they don't leave any remnants behind. <laughs> and then, and, but they're like screwed in. They're really, really tight. I've, I've busted a lot of boards out when using the pallet buster on those types. Now the ones with the little, you know, metal pieces sticking out are easier to take apart. This one I'm about to take apart for you does have those metal pieces so you get to see what happens if I find them. Um, the other one doesn't have the screws but it is long and those ones are also tough to get out but those have been my favorite ones because you still have to check them for nails afterwards, of course, with the uh, pin pointer, but it's not as risky, uh, so it doesn't leave as much behind. So, all right, that's all I have to welcome you to this video. So what, is the, what I'm going to do is I'm kind of going to show a time lapse of me breaking one of these pallets to show you how I go through the whole process. I used to do it using the vise and the workbench, one piece of wood at a time, busting the nails out, but I found a few little tricks when taken apart when using a palette. Maybe you'll learn something by watching this little video here. All right, I'm gonna get down and get started. I almost forgot the most important thing. Um, I highly recommend wearing a pair of gloves when breaking pallets and most importantly, eye protection. So I found myself getting hit in the face a few times. You can see little scratches on here from the nails from busting pallets. So if you don't wear eye protection when busting pallets or doing anything in the workshop, you're gonna have a bad time. Like I said, I, I would have had a nail hit me in the eye one of these times if I wasn't wearing these. So these, because you know a lot of splinters on pallets, 
So this helps you handle them a little better. And then eye protection, of course. So I forgot to say that. Now we'll get into busting palettes. So I got the, the, all the slats out too, which these, these could be useful, you know? I did work up a little sweat. Typically I'm running a fan, but I didn't want to run the fan. As you can see, I'm starting to fog up a little bit here. I didn't want to run the fan because I didn't want it to pick up in the microphone for the camera and make a loud noise in the background. But I do have a nice fan I typically run when I do this. Uh, but now, I'm, I'm not going to show it all, but just to tell you what I do now is I go through and I check each one. So I go through with the pin pointer here and just check to make sure. Now again, there could be something deep down in there that I don't detect, but overall that one's pretty good. I'll check it closer. So I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with each one of these boards. I don't know what kind of cut I'm gonna make. So I don't need to be super precise right now, uh, but here just checking uh, some of the ones that, you know, that aren't, the slats, see how our little drill job did. So here, remember, little metal detector here. Uh, just so far so good. You wanna check each side, at least with this pin pointer. Um, some of these boards aren't that good, but who knows, there might be some salvageable pieces. I have to go through all of them. Whoop, that hit my watch, I think. Nope, 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 we're getting a beep in here. So there's still one in this one here. So now I can go through these. I can look at them a lot closer. Again, I'm not going to show you me doing that. So what I do is I look at them. Sometimes I drill them out again. Um, but I also have a pair of needle nose right here. So then I dig in. It's almost like surgery. I go in and I look for it. I pick it out and I try to find it until there's no more beeping. But I'll go through and check <laughs> all these out. It's just not that exciting. Okay, so breaking 20 pallets, you might be asking, why would you do that? 
especially if you don't have a purpose for it right away. Well, I, <laughs> it was an exercise. Yeah, I got a nice little sweat out here doing this right now, and I enjoy doing these little like mindless activities where you know you just get out and escape for a bit. So I broke down these 20 pallets. So this was what one looks like. Um, the rest are, there's a pile right there. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them all yet. I have all the slats back here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna organize all my pallet wood, see what we got out of 20 pallets. I showed you all the nails we got. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those yet. Just have a bucket of nails now. But I'll, let's get out all the wood and see what we're working with from 20 pallets. I will be right back in a flash. Boom, we did it. Here is the result of 20 pallets. All right, let's sit down and look at it. Alrighty, well, we did it. We busted 20 pallets here. Now we gotta figure out what to do with them. I have a, now I have a big pile of wood sitting in my middle of the garage. I kinda, I mean, I put it out here temporarily just to show you all what it looks like. But yeah, if you decide to bust pallets, you know, take a lot of things into consideration. I got these pallets about three, four weeks ago. I've been slowly breaking through them, doing like, you know, one or two at a time here or there. You know, taking my time, just like a little evening getaway in the garage is what I've been doing with these. So, they're not all fun either. Some had like tons of nails in them, double nails, nail heads broke, some took a long time. So you really need to consider if you want to. Also make sure the pallets aren't treated with chemicals. Uh, so all of these came from a shingle company. I actually talked to them where they got their pallets. They're all heat treated. Uh, so they're all uh, relatively okay to use. I still won't eat off them and make plates with them or anything like that. Or, you know, shot glasses or something like that. But yeah, so now we have this pile of pallet wood and this should be enough to get me started on the garage because I already, you know, this one's already missing an end. I don't know if maybe a nail was stuck in there that I couldn't get out, so I just said, screw it, too much effort for, you know, this much piece of wood. But, yeah, that was fun. And this is all I had to do in here. This was like my to-do list for the last three weeks, and now I'm a bit like, what's next? So if you guys think of anything I should build first, I, you know, I want to build stuff to display my metal detecting finds, uh, I could use a new coffee table, entertainment center, and I don't need everything to look rustic either. Uh, so I'm going to clean this up. I have the planer sitting right here. So we're going to do a double nail check before running it through the planer. Maybe we can make some panels out of it. Uh, I could get my jointer out, which I don't have. So we could figure out a way to maybe make something to get. So one big thing, uh, I don't have one easily available without sliding out under it. Oh, there we go. So one, one thing with pallet wood is getting the edges square, because in any of your projects you want a square edge. Uh, the ends are pretty easy to get square, um, but the edges are the hardest part to get square. So you can do surface plane here, which is fine, just make sure you don't have any nail pieces in there, but then you have to make like, um, you could use a router, router table to get this, uh, you can use hand planers, you can use all sorts of things to try to get one edge square, and then you use the table saw to get the other edge square. You can also build um, a thing for the table saw that clamps us down. So we'll figure that out when we get there and how we're going to clean these boards up and what we're going to do with them. But for now, this was a lot of effort and I'm happy with the outcome. So I hope you enjoyed the first workshop video. Of course, the video is coming up after this. We're of course going to be using this pallet wood. So I thank you for hanging out and watching this long. I'm sure this probably ended up being a little longer than I planned. Uh, but, yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed it. And now I have this pallet buster. I learned a lot from this, and that was the biggest part. The biggest thing with me in this workshop is, you know, I'm an amateur, and this is learning. And so if you're starting watching this from the beginning with me as I make these videos, we're going to be learning together. And that's the purpose of this. Is, you know, my channel, I try to make things educational, and this is going to be a group learning project. Alrighty, on to the next project. I'll see you all next time. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.